Okie dokes. Once more into the mix. Oh, these sun's guns. Is it because you fly? Is that, is that what's going on there? I would imagine that's what's going on there. So instead, let's just let you kiddos surround me so that irradiate is a little more efficient. Perfect. So I guess that makes sense. Uranus toxic fog definitely countered by things that, you know, just can fly. Again, shouldn't be uh, the surprise that it is here, and yet. So similarly, I want to just get next to you and blast you as quickly as we possibly can. On the flip side, I don't think I want to bother with our Cyclops friend at all. Like, let's keep you on the other side of the glass for now. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm, I'm kind of happy with where I'm at in life here, so let's just get the heck out of Dodge. And continue exploring the rest of our zones here. Again, hopefully cold resistance, just a, a modicum, just a, a smidge of cold resistance would go a long way in terms of comfortability for us here. But I guess it is what it is. Where did our, our Orc Knight friend go? There you are. Hello, hello. Welcome to the party. Ooh, Orb of Destruction offered. We saw how well that went last time. Hmm. Maybe we will take the swerve into conjurations while we're waiting for transmutation spells to show up at all. Already at 78% failure is not the worst bit in the world here. But let's learn it because we don't know when it will be gone rid of or when it will be back, so that sounds good to me. And we can just change conjurations up in the background here while we're at it. And we'll we'll try that one out, shall we? That's terrifying. Uh, hmm. Might have to give up on this one again. End up just taking our, our chances with Fanar anyway. Ooh, Clearance Sale and Potion of Magic and Scroll of Butterflies and ID. Don't mind if I do. I'll grab one of each, please. And then we can go through a few more things here. Enchant Armor, Enchant Weapon, and Brand Weapon. Oh, garbage tier so that can just drop to the ground and if you kiddos could uh come through oh wait no you fly gosh darn it so never mind we will immediately leave the vicinity we've even gone down in piety with vehement just because we unfortunately have done more retreating than we have attacking these days i guess lair is kind of our only option we do have Potion of Resistance for sale. One Potion of Resistance. 180 gold, let's go for it though. Question becomes, do I assume that Fanar is waiting for us at the bottom of our stairs? Just chugging it in advance, it's our only shot, so it's not exactly the uh, safest bet. But if I already take a fridge shot on our first step down, I'd probably just die anyway. Hmm. What do I think about the new alternate items? So you're mostly, um, I would guess, talking about like the wands and the limitations on those. I like that. Makes each run a little more unique, a little more fun. I like the new wands in general. Specifically, Quicksilver is really interesting to me. Still trying to get in the habit of knowing or remembering when I should be using it, but it's definitely a lot of fun. And again, is a paradigm shift, which I'm always a big fan of. Okay, no fan art? Perfect. Okay, your problem. But I kind of, I wanted to save my resistance for fan art. There we go. Oh my gosh, we even get an extra life. There's hope. There's hope in this cold, dark world. I believe, never should have stopped believing, really. But okie dokie, take way more poison damage than I would like. It is what it is. Let's just wake you up, my friend. Again, you fly, so I almost accidentally went with the Noxious Bog route, but that's not exactly gonna do everything we hoped and dreamed it would. And instead, let's just, yeah, throw some of that 
nastiness down. Beautiful. And keep looking for our favorite cult theme friend. Where the heck did you go, Fanar? I'm so on edge here, just waiting for them to pop out into the mix at the most inopportune of times, as many uniques are wont to do. But Yax, on the other hand, now this is very much my jam. Beautiful. Now where'd you go? Oh, Gastronok, you weren't even s supposed to be here, my friend. Did not expect you. Okay. As tempting as it is to just try to get through this in one piece, let's definitely get some cold resist, get you poisoned, and it's gonna have to be some irradiate. Fantastic. No cold of ring of ice? No, you did have a ring of ice. Perfect. So we have cold resistance for the future at least now. That's nice. <laughs> have that as an option at the very least. And hopefully the rest of Lair is now a little more uh, under control. Right, you're fast in water. Noxious Bog coming to bite us in the butt. On Butterfly Scroll as well, you were talking earlier, Colgate. I, I like the Butterfly Scroll because I miss butterflies. I miss summon butterflies as spell. It totally makes sense why they got rid of it. It was stupid overpowered for level one summoning spell. But the nostalgic part of my heart definitely misses the good old days of, of summon butterflies. So I feel that. So Fear Scroll, I think you run away and then you immediately come back for more, right? Because I'm... Um, you'll get hurt by poison. Regardless, it's our only avenue. We have no more blink. So I guess we go for it. In fact, let's just blast you while you're distracted. Oh gosh, oh no, stop. Stop blinking me around. Can't do that, that's, that's illegal. Perfect, there we go. So note to self. Do not Noxious Bog against Hydras. Not good. No bueno. Oh, and we... Turns out we get Snake instead of Spider. That's a bit of a shame. I mean, Noxious Bog still will work against Snakes. At least they're not all flying sons of guns. But its true power did first make its, uh, its place in our awareness with Spider. So I was kind of hoping to, to relive that fantasy. But hey, not the end of the world here. You might Gastronach in D10 of your current run, no problem at all. For most characters, he's really not. The main issue with the cat is getting one shot by airstrike. Because, you know, putting that aside, it's a pretty uh, sweet gig. Like, we can just uh, kite the ever living crap out of Gastronach with no problems whatsoever, even on a normal speed character, and then especially so on a quick character like a feel it. But it's still. Uh, a wee bit sketchy to say the least when you are worried or at least you know concerned about that one shot potential on our uh, favorite snail son of a gun but don't you worry we'll be back for gastronoc one of these days for now let's just continue moving forward orb of destruction a long ways off which makes sense again wasn't expecting that anytime super soon here Eight-headed Hydra, though. Hmm. Don't know how I feel about you, my friend. We might have to just uh, label you as a no-go zone for now. You probably woke up, and we're going to regret that, but should be fine. Ooh, Iron Shot and Lehutip's Crystal Sphere, both potentially great possibilities to enter our spellbook in the future here. Let's uh, worry about surviving the present, and then we can dream about that all we wish, shall we? I mean, wolves don't stand a chance at getting across the bog. The bog of doom! Even Komodo dragons? Oh my gosh, that was brutal. And that's... What's the opposite of saying that's the ticket? Jeez Louise. 
or to hallway. Airstrike does less damage there. Definitely is helpful. Still, still concerned about our overall survivability. I would rather just leave them alone for now. We'll see if we end up getting desperate. I mean, if the past is anything to say about it, we'll probably end up getting desperate enough. And in fact, so instead of Noxious Bog, what I should do against Hydras is just freaking murder them. Kind of forgot that we were faster than them for a brief moment there, so there is no real need to just run away completely scared. Instead, we can just run away mostly scared and take advantage of that. And perfect, all these Sun's Guns getting poisoned enough to go down within the first few moments there. And gosh darn it, Hydra, <laughs> why did you come out of nowhere here? 17% chance to do the deed in terms of charming you, not great odds. I think I have to take the step up, chance that we just literally die, but this is what it is. Ooh. Manage to get through that in one piece, and then we can just kite you while you're poisoned, and we're a happy camper. Slightly terrifying, but we managed to make it through in one piece here. And we'll just continue to do the same with the rest of these sons of guns, hopefully. It's all a little more manageable without a, a sneaky little hydra pal joining the fray. That's the dream, at least. Perfect. I think you used Frozen Ramparts of Freezing Cloud and Hailstorm in your game to deal with Gastronok. See, that's wild, because that's getting in close range. My favorite method for dealing with Gastronok is to just constantly kite with them at the very edge, full seven squares away from you, the very edge of your vision, and then you're just peppering them over time. And as long as you have a nice space for doing so, that's just completely free, which is always nice not to have to worry about. So if I remove the Ring of Wizardry, okay, I can still use most of my stuff. Probably will put it back on here as soon as we uh, get through that son of a gun, especially since vulnerability to fire sounds like a, uh, a nasty surprise waiting for happen when I forget to take it off. But perfect. And we'll just go once more into the breach here. Things are definitely starting to get a little more manageable across the board. Every spellbook I see, I'm getting truly, well and truly desperate for some transitation forms of any shape, size, or flavor, but hey, we'll see how it goes. Okay, you definitely just need to die, my friend, and beautiful. Airstrike, definitely a, a fairly decent Hydra killer for us here today. And we'll just get back to it. So shoals and snake, huh? Oh, you're... F Dang it, this is another critter that's fast in water? Shucks. <laughs> this or would be nice to learn something like Blink, but we never had that opportunity granted to us, unfortunately. So that's... It is what it is, I guess. You can deal... 30 damage, my friend. In that case, I think we have to go heal wounds. Keeps us exactly where we are at. Perfect. Your Baraki Sakine is not easy, especially when your only long range option is freezing cloud. You can just walk away. It is slow on the ground. So yes, it's slow on the ground, but it's in water right now. So it gets one more attack if I step down because it is currently in our Noxious Bog, which, again, short-sighted of me. Definitely should have just focused on the Irradiate. But I need to survive just long enough, just a little bit more, for the bog to disappear. I could just step down and hope, I guess. I think, yeah, you'll get one extra step in the water here. 50% chance to hit me. We do have the spare life. And the potion isn't even guaranteed to save my life either. Now nah, we'll play it safe though. One more heal. Of course the bog runs out right there. Let's get one more attack. Is it as fast as I feel it? It is faster than us when it is in water. At least that's what it seemed there. 
We did learn Swift. Yes, Sapid. I need to remember to use it at some point down the road here, but hey, we'll, we'll keep it around long enough until it becomes useless and I just end up forgetting it. Does that sound like a plan? Does that sound like a good deal? Um, ah, that's an interesting layer floor. I never seen that before. I'm gonna just do a big old no to that one, but it is kind of interesting and cool. I like the idea. If I could just see yak packs until the end of my days, oh boy, would I be just the, uh, the most chuffed of cats here. And you definitely want to see your cats happy if at all possible. Oh, did I never set up drops on this character? Doesn't look like it, because I definitely would prefer to have all evocables being picked up automatically here, especially in the early game, when we just need any and all opportunities at our disposal to get any progress done. And, you know, let's do this. That seems like a, a decent strategy for this floor. Just ignore that room till it goes away. Perfect. Then we can poison you just enough that irradiate still finishes the job. Wonderful. Last you to kingdom come. Even more wonderful. And not too shabby here. Ooh, death yaks are good experience and free experience when we're able to kite them through the bogs. So that's another one that we're very happy to see at this stage in the game. And nice chunk of change there for sure. Conjuration transmutation slowly but surely coming up into the uh, the fray here. And one shot in the water moxin with a nice clawed backstab. Absolutely lovely. Fantastic to see, really. And okie dokie, that is most of Lair. We, I guess on a character like this, we might as well check out Lair 5 as well. Not by that stairwell, though. That was a mistake. Uh, that one's slightly better, but still not great. Third time's the charm? Perfect. That's what we like to see. The main thing is that I just need I need the runway, you know? I need the space to to really let things get wild and wacky out here. Then I am pretty happy to deal with any situation the game throws at us. I will, I think, just block off entrance to the final forest area for now. Uh, this isn't a heck of a lot better, but we just murder the living crap out of the Molten Gargoyle, and then... Perfect. This is a bit more my speed. I will once again switch over to Ring of Ice, sure. And just blast you, my friend, before switching right back over here to our wizardry. Fantastic. Then we can lead all of our new friends down on a, a merry little chase. Ooh, and more death yaks. Again, very, very cool to see. Very happy to see it. Two death yaks gave me like a full 5% experience. Heck yeah, bud. Not too shabby whatsoever. And let's just get back on the road once more, shall we? Want just the Hydra? Oh. Some weird shenanigans. Oh, displacement traps. What fun you are. There we go. That's a little bit better. Fantastic. Take 7.5 aughts in water and feel it 8 aughts in land, so it is a bit faster if you understand how speed works. Okay, that's good to know. Thanks for the confirmation, Colgate. My instincts wanted to say they are faster because I feel like there are very few things in this game that are equal with the cat and a lot of times especially when you start getting to the late game or those special extenuating circumstances like them being fast in water i think the majority of enemies are faster in that specific situation but it's good to know get it confirmed for sure because i'm usually just making all some uh, all sorts of assumptions rather fantastic able to clear through the elephants in record time there absolutely love to see it 
and then we'll just continue forward finishing off the rest of the level that we'll be exploring for the time being again leaving that forest for now because ain't nobody want to deal with that shenaniganry chicanery maybe is the better way to phrase it just so i'm not always using the exact same word to describe every situation positive or negative but hey what do i know aha hydra you showed up at the perfect time right as we we're leaving the danger zone so fantastic and for the rest of you we'll just give the usual treatment wow we've almost gained another level just because of how uh, dense the experience has been in this section of lair fantastic how does bog work so it surrounds an area around you does not work next to walls which is why we end up with these spaces doesn't work on flying things but the big bonus is that it applies really nasty poison and it does so through poison resistance poison immunity i think is still safe but even if they're poison resistant you're just applying mad stacks of the stuff so it's a pretty sweet spell for sure i was introduced to it because we were struggling to uh get through spider and somebody pointed out that it's the like single best solution to spider and it definitely ended up being just that for us so i've been low-key obsessed with it ever since because it's a lot of fun this is the first run where i'm starting to experience some of the uh conditional downsides like the fact that you should never touch hydras with it which is you know my justification for why we found ourselves in that nasty situation to start with still learning how the bog works the secret to the bog here but it's pretty sweet stuff. Um, it does disappear if it's out of sight, so you can't use it, you know, in too cheesy of a fashion. Generally, you have to sit tight with it in order for it to actually do its magic. But it's incredible for sure. Why never touch hydras? So just because they are faster in bog, so and in danger of murdering us in one turn. And so we're speeding them up, still dealing damage. The bog poison gets through their poison resistance. That's pretty sweet. But it's basically, you're just giving them free runway. And that was not something that I had thought through fully before we started blasting it out there. But by no stretch, the end of the world, just something to keep you know in mind, to actually think of instead of just completely getting blindsided by the uh, sudden terror. Speak of the devil, another Hydra, so we're just going to run away from our nice little bog there. And... Maybe we'll put another one up. As long as we're out of the bog, we don't actually care too much. That's the, the big rub of it, I guess. It's not a, a be-all, end-all statement. It's just something to be aware of, cognizant of. How much damage do you do? 18. Let's take you upstairs, my friend. And perfect. Does moving in the bog count like moon and water? So fortunately, not to that extent, no. Uh, we still move normal speed in our own bog, so it is just the one way we're speeding up them. Fortunately, not slowing ourselves down. Otherwise, it would be even more of a no-brainer than it already is. So yeah, no, fortunately, not something that you have to be worried about. And there we go, managed to get through the Hydra finally. In general, I'm excited to deal with this area because it seems to be a bunch of Sons of Guns that are very vulnerable to our strategy. Like, yeah, if all you bears could uh, come hang out up here, I'm willing to even take some sketchy turns next to you just because at least by the time you go berserk you're probably already a dead bear walking and yet fully safe for the caster as well Colgate. so why we're able to just stand in here as much as we want all the live long day with nary a concern in the world so surprisingly strong spell i'd never heard of it until somebody brought it up on that that spider run that i was mentioning earlier and now i definitely have a, a hearty amount of respect for it it's a very interesting spell to say the least well, let's drink curing to get rid of that poison real quick and then the rest of you shouldn't 
Shouldn't be too, too much trouble. Fantastic. And once again, just let all of our new friends, you know, come up close and personal here. Meet our bog firsthand. Love to see it. Absolutely lovely. And that should just about do the trick. In fact, we'll, uh, we'll throw up one more here, and, oh, I guess not through the end of it yet. They do travel in herds, these, uh, sons of guns. But, lead you out here once again, and that should now be close. Gotta be close. Can turn water or lava into a bog. I don't think deep water or lava. No. A shallow water, yes. Can change the, the form of there, but... Definitely a little bit limited. It's not the greatest in shoals. It's similar to our issues with like the hydros and stuff. You know, you're basically giving free movement speed and bonuses to all the merfolk. But it still is fairly powerful. And then yeah, trees, I think it can be adjacent to. Let's find out. We head over here. It doesn't get rid of the trees by any stretch of the imagination, but... I'm kind of curious as to what it looks like behavior-wise. I would assume that they're not treated like walls. Oh, but I could just be wrong. Trees, also walls. Huh. Not what I expected based on how the majority of other uh, wall-based things work. Specifically, stuff like Frozen Ramparts doesn't work when you try and use it next to trees, but I guess worst of both worlds and all that. But not too shabby here. Fun little mini dragon's den. But maybe we'll we'll just finish off there. We don't have to go all the way to completion here in Lair. In fact, usually we don't. Oftentimes I don't even come down to Lair 5 for the longest time. And our statues the same. I feel like statues it's okay with. Specifically, even like single walls, like this one here, it can be adjacent to. It's only when you have a real wall, not a column, not a, a pillar, I guess. So I'd assume statues, or I, I know because of this, that statues, yeah, don't suffer from the same issues since they are generally isolated. Maybe if they're next to each other, if you have a wall of statues, that would be a different story, but can worry about that if and when we get there. No okie dokes. When do we come Pikachu? As soon as the game gives it to me. I'm just waiting. I'm, I'm chomping at the bit here, Saifid. We actually have air magic training on this character, and we have enough transmutation that I think as soon as we get Stormform, we could just use it. Unfortunately, the game has different plans for us at the moment. But we're, we're working it out. You know, we're, we have an open dialogue trying to keep honest discussion flowing here. We'll be fine. Do traps get turned into bog? I think so. I guess that one's not affected. Any other traps? Maybe we'll have to test out that hypothesis later. But stairwells do. It's like the, uh, the flooding that the water nymphs have where it completely gets rid of stairs. So by that logic, I would hope so. Or it's another worst of both worlds situation and we unfortunately don't get the advantages. And we did see orc shop, Saifid. Weapon shop, armor shop, two potion shops, which we immediately bought out all the good stuff from. So, we're, we're you know, we're, we're struggling. We're working on it. We're trying to get there. I guess snake is probably our best bet. We have no poison resistance, but at least we're a heck of a lot faster than these sons of guns. Ooh, do I dare? Yeah, let's go with the stab. Perfect. Never doubt in my mind. And let's... So, oh, gosh, that is terrible. Oh, gosh. And oh, no. I'm surrounded. Um, well, we have fun here, don't we, folks? Let's get some poison down to start off. At least can deal with these two snakes. Maybe. Or not at all. Uh, go for heal wounds. 
Okay, Kidly Wings, what do we do with you? Trident of Protection, not the end of the world. OTR, kind of terrible when I don't have any poison resistance. Oh, and McGlottle. Oh, geez. Well, this was uh, honestly more of a mistake than I ever could have imagined, which is wild because I already thought it was a terrible idea. Uh, sure, do you want just teleport me? Let's murder you. Let's heal. Oh, look at all those status effects. That's, that's just the thing, ain't it? Uh, lots of curing, so we can immediately drink that. And I'm probably just gonna die again. Man. Seems like an unprepared character for Snake. You're telling me. No, there was never a doubt in our mind that that was the, the case. Unfortunately, where do we go? Shoals, also terrible. I was hoping to at least take advantage of our extra move speed against the Snake's slow move speed to get through one floor of Snake. Maybe get some experience, some stuff under our belt. Uh, running into an immediate alarm trap put a, a fairly quick stop to those hopes and dreams. But let's uh, just see what happens here. There we go. Now we die and we get shunted off to <laughs> basically the same area. But hey, I guess we're committed now. Let's, uh, let's get through this. You are probably immune to poison, so uh, bog doesn't do a single dang thing. You could uh, come at me real quick, my friend. Perfect. And similarly, I need you to uh, come get some. Lovely. This is just my life now, hanging out. This is my corner. Anyone who comes into my corner dies. Otherwise, there's not a lot I can do to you. And perfect. Did not work last time, I'm sure it works now with less health. That's the thing. Sometimes you'd be very surprised. And at the end of the day, it's it's all we have going for us. Ideal does not mean anything when we're already kind of drawn the short end of the stick. Ah, uh, but see, sharpshooter, now there's a problem. See, I'm at least optimistic, shall we say, because this time around, if we can just get through without having to worry about McGlottle, then there's a chance. But okay, we immediately just irradiate, and I even risk the extra contamination because I just gotta. Radiate those sons of guns. Another sharpshooter coming at us is not fantastic. Let's just go running off into the unknown. Hey, when has this ever gone poorly for any aspiring adventurer? About as good as it gets here at the end of the day. Oh, and a shock serpent. Welp. Read teleport. Read a heal. Hopefully it lands us right on the stairs. Nope, I'm just dead. <laughs> About to be expected. Definitely uh, not our not our brightest of moves going into Snake, but I don't know if it would have gone better in Shoals. We were kind of at the end of our rope there in every stretch of the imagination. Oh, But hey, good old try on Squiz. It actually went better than I was expecting. I was worried that taking on the namesake we'd immediately run into issues i'm glad we at least got to stretch our wings feel it out a little bit there and so we'll definitely be going in with one more attempt here before we head off for the evening question is where do we how do we want to run this one this could be the chance to go to the Felid Berserker, but I want to go, I think, at least one more try with a solid magic start here. Maybe Necromancer, yeah, Necromancer, Venom Mage, Conjurer, all the good stuff. I 
We'll check it out. I'll also give myself a quick second to think about it because I'm gonna run out and grab a refill for my drink. So definitely if anyone else has anything they'd like to see any suggestions, definitely shout out now and I will have to make a decision when we get back. But don't go anywhere and I'll see you in just a sec. See ya.